Just a bit of a forewarning before we even talk about what the title says we're going to be talking about. This video is going to be very depressing. This video will make you lose faith in humanity. So if you're in a good mood, I would advise you to turn away. I mean, I appreciate the fact that you clicked on this video. Thank you for watching. But this is one of those where if you don't have to see it, then um, don't. Because this is... Um, some next level moral depravity that we're going to be examining here, folks. And even though it's not necessarily surprising for the far right to have a very ridiculous meltdown to the conviction news about Derek Chauvin, uh, what they say here is truly just disturbing. Um, so at the time that I filmed this, Tucker Carlson hasn't yet said anything about this uh, because his show hasn't aired. But the night before we got the verdict, Tucker Carlson literally accused the media of lynching Derek Chauvin. Let me repeat that. The man who murdered someone, we all saw the video footage of him kneeling on George Floyd's neck for nine minutes. He's angry that the media is lynching that individual. He's not necessarily angry that George Floyd was murdered. He's mad at the media's treatment of Derek Chauvin. That's just a little bit of a hint as to what we can expect. So we're going to work our way from bad to Nazi. <laughs> and when I say that, we'll start with the more right-wing, uh, center-right takes, and then we're going to see the worst of the worst, which is shocking, even from an individual like me, who knows what to expect from these ghouls. So first and foremost, I want to share this clip from Newsmax TV because uh, they very clearly don't believe that justice was served. Yeah, no, it, 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 it's pressure on the scale, right? I mean, this, they, they say justice is blind. I don't think blind, it was blind in this case at all. I think you had political pressure. I think you had pressure from all these uh, activist groups uh, going into all this. And I think at the end of the day, people say, you know what? If we acquit this guy, this city is going to burn to the ground. It is going to burn to the ground. So you had a jury that said, you know what? We're going to have to sacrifice this guy to the mob. And that's exactly what I think happened today. Derek Chauvin was sacrificed to the mob. This imbecile wants you to not believe your own eyes. You saw the video of Derek Chauvin kneeling on George Floyd's neck for nearly nine minutes. And he's saying, oh, well, you know what? The jury, they're actually irrational. They probably know that Derek Chauvin is innocent, but they only convicted him because they knew that there would be backlash if they didn't. I mean, you're just a moron. You're, you're sick in the head. I don't know the name of that Newsmax host, but that individual is sick. You're a sick fuck. That's disgusting. We all saw the fucking video of Derek Chauvin commit an act of murder in broad daylight. And you're saying that the only reason why the jury would convict that individual who we saw murder a man is because they're worried about the mob? That uh, Derek Chauvin was sacrificed to the mob? Are you a fucking moron? Do you eat paint chips for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? What is wrong with you? I think we all know what's wrong with him. That man is racist. And you don't care that that racist cop killed a black man in broad daylight. You're more mad that he's getting punished for said murder. You're telling on yourself. Now, uh, going to Steven Crowder, he responded to a tweet from Martin Luther King Jr. the third, which says today justice was served for the Floyd family, but we still live in a nation clothed in injustice. True justice for black Americans can only come through a complete revolution of values. We need an overhaul of systems deeply rooted in racism. Hashtag justice for George Floyd. Uh, to which Crowder responded saying, of course, there was going to be a pivot. Expect more police to quit in the coming weeks. First of all, if more cops quit in protest of justice being served in this one instance, good. Second of all, this isn't a pivot. There was justice in this one case, but the fact that our system even led to a man being murdered in broad daylight in the first place, we still have to dismantle that system. So this isn't a pivot, and you're just trying to find a reason to take issue with what they're saying, but it's perfectly reasonable. But for those of you who missed it, uh, Stephen Crowder already concluded that Derek Chauvin was innocent because he had uh, conducted his own experiment on his channel where he reenacted the uh, infamous moment where George Floyd was murdered. And so according to him, you know, uh, Derek Chauvin is innocent. Extremely stupid. Uh, ben Shapiro responded to Don Lemon of CNN saying justice was served. And he says, and we all know he would never have said this had the reverse verdict been reached. Yeah, maybe because in that instance... 
somebody would have gotten away with murder and justice would not have been served. I, it's like they're being purposefully obtuse because they're angry that for once a racist cop who murdered a black man is going to go to prison for that. Just admit that. Just be honest. Some of the folks here are honest. Uh, others are scoffing at people celebrating at this surprising uh, moment of justice for George Floyd. Michael Tracy, who I don't know what his political ideology is, but he argues now rushing outside to dance in the streets and celebrate the carceral power of the state. Yes, Michael, because that's exactly why people are celebrating. They're not celebrating because for once justice was served when a cop murdered someone. They're celebrating because they just, they love big daddy government. Very, very brilliant take there, Michael Tracy. You are a fucking moron, Michael Tracy. Now, uh, Caitlin Bennett, who shit herself once, says, And now we know our country will not be able to withstand the threat of the mob when asked to protect our innocence. Our justice system means nothing anymore. Hashtag Derek Chauvin. Hey, Caitlin, ask yourself why there was a mob to begin with. The mob responded because they saw somebody get murdered. Were you not outraged when you saw that video? Did it not gen up any emotions whatsoever? I mean, I'm sure that she had some reaction to it. Maybe she was happy that uh, the cop was uh, kneeling on George Floyd's neck. I don't know. I can't even speculate about the twisted minds of these fuckwits. But ju justice to them would be cops being able to kill black Americans and getting away with it. By this logic, if there wasn't a mob, then there would have been no conviction. It's as if the video where we all saw Derek Chauvin murder George Floyd didn't exist. It's only because of the mob, the quote unquote mob, that led to this conviction. The jury was biased. Unbelievable. Now, if you thought that all of those takes were bad, we are going for the nuclear take. This is the worst of the worst. And this is, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. We'll just read it together. This is from Cassandra Fairbanks who argues, poor Chauvin, this is awful. He is a political prisoner. Nobody can change my mind on this. Just awful. Somebody then responded saying, Cassandra, he fucking murdered a man. What the fuck is wrong with you? She then responded saying, nothing of value was lost. And no, he didn't. I'm going to repeat that. In response to a murder, Cassandra Fairbanks just said, nothing of value was lost. Okay, at least you're being honest, but um, that's, that's some Nazi shit right there. That is straight up Nazi shit. So uh, this is what I meant at the beginning of the video when I said the takes we're going to hear, they're not just hot takes. These are takes that really speak to the sickness of these folks who are angry at the fact that justice in this one instance was actually served. It's not like the entire racist criminal justice and judicial system itself is going to be dismantled as a result of this guilty verdict. But in this one instance, in this one time, the bad guy's going to go to prison. The cop who murdered an unarmed black man is going to go to prison. And they're mad about that. Yeah. Uh, this is them telling on themselves. And it's, it's disgusting, but it's not shocking. It's not shocking in the slightest.